Well, excitement for Big Ten's women basketball has been building now for weeks. The tournament, it starts today at Target Center. A lot of time and effort is put into making this tournament a reality. Fox 9's Kelsey Carlson and Don Mitchell are standing by with one of the key figures who helped to make it all happen. Yeah, welcome to Target Center. Uh, one game already underway, Purdue Northwestern. And so this has started now. It's going to be a fun few days as we get ready for the women's tournament. And I mean, we've watched, we've been people watching here from the All windows. Day. Huge crowds already coming in because this is their time to come watch women's basketball and see all the games. They're flooding in mm -hmm. and it's young, old men, women, some are with the band tubas and they're all just this joy on mm -hmm. their face because it's starting now. Yeah, we have Andrea Graham co-executive director of the tournaments both the men's and women's basketball tournaments and so you are expecting how many people to come into town <sighs> you know we are expecting over a hundred thousand people this week an incredible amount next week as well those ticket sales are still racking up mm -hmm. um, and you know considering we had uh, just under about 50,000 people come through for the tournament last year uh, and break all those attendance records it's it's very exciting and still a little like there's a lot of unknowns <laughs> uh, and so I'm excited to see what that final number ends up actually yeah, being. Yeah, me too. That was a Caitlin Clark effect. It's almost like a Super Bowl atmosphere on a smaller level, of course, but you've been involved in Super Bowls here in town. <laughs> the weather's so much better, but there's so many activities that people can do if their team isn't playing, if they're not in one in session. Um, can you tell us what's going on around here? Absolutely. So uh, Minnesota Sports and Events really partnered with our friends over at the City Center to just do a full Big Ten blowout. So we have our Minnesota Champions fan zone uh, with a bunch of different activities and face painting and ticket giveaways and all kinds of things. And then next to that is our Big Ten Makers Market. And so we've got 50 local vendors of all uh, different, um, you know, types of creations and things like that from food to art to woodwork to anything you could want uh, that's open all week and then also just a bunch of other really fun stuff like we have youth clinics happening over here at Target Center we have a service project happening tomorrow afternoon uh, to pack food packs for kids facing food insecurity we're doing some stuff at some rec centers around town and then on Sunday ahead of the championship games uh, the blue carpet arrivals which is and the public gonna be and the, see these and two all teams. of it everything is free and open to the public so it re if you don't have tickets there's still something for you to yeah. do junior reporters too. Get oh a yes junior to, journalism yeah. <laughs> be a part of the, the yes. media as well over the uh, the next couple of days you know the fan base is really growing for women's basketball and we know that there's a big draw for Caitlin Clark and Iowa should we expect some celebrity sightings you know I'll be curious to see who shows up um, uh, we've heard some rumors, there's some things on the internet, but <laughs> we shall see. Travis Scott showed up in Iowa City last weekend, so anything yeah. is possible. Jake from State Farm. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but we should expect, yeah, we should just keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, I say f put Plus, it on the internet if you see anyone. Right. So you know they're coming. <laughs> let us know, let us know. Plus the weather's nice. Come, you know, come join us in Minneapolis, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Caitlin Clark on Friday, of course, and, and we'll see what comes of that. But just so much excitement with the quality and the level of basketball. So you have the side shows, but you also have the real show. And that's something to, to really be proud of here this week. Yeah, we'll have more tonight at 9 and 10, of course, and highlights from the Gophers game as well. Back to you guys. Yeah.